For thousands of years, man has looked to the stars, seeking to one day be among them. After centuries of advancements, we made that dream a reality when we put the first man in space and onto the moon. Since then, we've landed rovers on Mars, built the International Space Station, and sent spacecrafts to the very edge of our solar system. Now, we look to make history once again by putting man on another planet. Although traveling to Mars and colonizing the red planet might seem like science fiction, for one soldier, it's slowly becoming a reality. I signed up for the Mars One program because I've always been interested in going into space. Part of the reason for me joining the Army was it was an avenue to applying for the astronaut program for NASA. In 2013, over 200,000 people worldwide applied for the program. After round one of the selection process, those numbers were cut down to just a little over 600. If I make the next round of cuts, which will reduce the candidates from 600 down to 100, I'll begin the more in-depth evaluation, which will test us physically and psychologically to find out how many of us will make it to the final 24 who will begin the 10 years of training that will prepare us for surviving on Mars. While the candidates train, Mars One will be making the preparations to send a rover which will scout for a location to set up the colony. Once the location is determined, the rover will set up a habitat for the first team that arrives in 2025, a team that may include the first American soldier on Mars. Army Sergeant Travis Delzell, 16th MPAD, Fort Bliss, Texas.